Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Factorio Space Exploration. I had a slightly shorter stream than normal this week because I was out being busy in, a work, in sort of work related ways. However, I've got some fairly important things done. First thing on the list is that I've managed to get this um, system here. I've put in the, uh, finally put in the supercomputers for making the um, Deep Space Science Catalog 2. Uh, so that's, 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 well it was working. Um, and then we've run it, but now we've run out of these memory, these data cards, and also these ones on top as well. Um, because if we look in here, we've run out of Naquium cubes. Because predictably, we've run out of Naquium. So I then, uh, I, <laughs> I need to, I need to improve the Naquium, um, the Naquium production system essentially in order to get this running a bit faster. And part of the reason that this has become a problem is because I'm making a lot, a lot of Naquium cubes because they're being fed off into this station up here. Well, we're gradually filling this up. Oh dear, there's only eight. Um, they, they don't stack very high, but they do take an enormous amount of Naquium to make. So this station is here in order to take the... Um, in order to produce the Naquium cubes that are then being dropped off up here <coughs> and brought over here to be turned into the Science Pack 2s. Now, this is all, I believe, in place and... Well, I'm not going to say it's working because we haven't actually had anything made yet. As you can see, we've got uh, products finished zero. But... Everything is now in place so that once we have a supply of Naquium running in, if we just let it flow, eventually it will all catch up and it will start working. And it should, I believe, build the um, b b build the, uh, the Science Pack 2s. So as you can see here, we've got everything except the, uh, the, the catalogue here. And, we have, and I have managed to make, down here, I've managed to make some catalogues that are going into here. So we've got now we've got a total of 170 of them. Now we need to get up to 2,000 of them before it'll actually ship them through. So there's quite a lot more needed. But the general concept is working. <clears throat> As you can see here, all of these um, data card types have arrived. These are the ones that I'm pulling out from the AstroScience because they're needed here to make the Deep Space Science uh, data cards. They're all there. It is, as I said, just the Nacrium cubes that are missing. What other one is a bit short? In fact, they're all a bit short. Um, this one is short of also Naquium cubes. And this, these two are, let's see, you're short of Naquium. And presumably up here... Uh, oh, this one's... Oh, well, yes, I unplugged this because I need to, I need to start it... Um, I need it to start using up these memory cards. So I didn't want to leave this just running. Um, so that this would get all backed up all the way, and then this would get backed up all the way. I wanted to, I wanted to get some balance in there. So once things start running again, then I'll come back in and put the um, put the inserter in there to start unloading these again, and then that will start to work nicely. Because this this is because this process down here spits out quite a lot of the good data cards, and I need to use them up somewhere, and somewhere is in this science production here. So yes, that will. I believe work nicely. Um, I haven't gone through and done all of the um, speed balancing yet. I put in some. I put in an extra machine here for the, the easy part. So this one was producing um, a 50% chance of producing the data every five seconds. So shoving in two of those means it will produce one every five seconds on average. So that's the speed we want. Um, up here we've got two of these because the recipe says in 40 seconds it will produce six, which is not one every five seconds, but in 40 seconds producing 12 is close enough. Um, so I've, I've, I reckon that's probably going to be all right. We'll see how it goes, and so on and so on up the up the um, up the system. And so I thoroughly believe that this should work and should start working, feeding the stuff through at the right rate and get everything I need. The problem is, as I said, is the Naquium. So if we look off in Realm of Shadows, I mean this this is ticking over okay. We've got um, we've got the where's my production? Here's my production down here. It's, I was going to say it's working okay. It's not. It's, it's, it seems, seems to ground to a halt for some reason. Um, but there isn't a spaceship here at the moment. So that's... I mean, it's, it's not ideal. I would like it to still always be building, you know, mining this stuff up even when there isn't a spaceship here so that it can just fill straight up. That said, we do have half a spaceship's worth of um, crushed Naquitite already here. And then there's um, a little bit more in these. And this train is, is bimbling back and forth over here, picking up the crushed Naqu Sorry, the Naquium here from, from the mine to, in order to then crush it. So... This is this is this side. This this mine is working. I need to get some more. Basically, I reckon I need to get some more of these Naquin mines set up around here. So that's going to be a lot more rail because I can probably grab this patch. Maybe there was a big and there are there are a few decent sized patches. Like that one is four and a half million. There's a load over here where we've got seven point eight ten. So I think running my next step is going to be running a really really long uh, line over here. 
maybe even doing it, having a, a, a two-way one. Then I can have more trains in there. And just starting to mine on these patches as well, which means making more of basically exact copies of this mining facility. So that's, yeah, that's not going to be too bad. It just means I need to go out there with an enormous quantity of, um, of, of rail in order to get all of that built up. So... Yeah, there's there, there there are resources out here that I can that I can dig up. The question, of course, is where are my um, spaceships that are supposed to be going and getting that? And the answer is here is one of them. It's on its way. It's nearly at Realm of Shadows. Um, so this spaceship will soon land and it will load up very very quickly. It will get all of that, um, all the Naqu crushed Naquitite that's in that um, in in the warehouses there already, and it will unload a massive quantity of sulphur and pro possibly iron. Let's see what it's got in it. Yeah, massive quantity of sulphur into the warehouses there, and so we'll be able to make a load more acid, and then start and, and the mining will kick off back up, back off at back up, back in at normal speed. The hope is that eventually these spaceships will arrive, and there will be a full spaceship's worth of the crushed Naquium for them to just pick up, so they can stay there for as little time as possible. But for now, it's working. I'm reasonably happy with the rate this is working at. So I wonder where the other spaceship is. Presume, well, I can't see it, so presumably that means it's somewhere in Kalidus, the Kalidus system. Still can't see it. Does that mean it's in Norvis orbit and I'm just not seeing it? I just didn't notice it when I, when I had a, didn't have a quick look around earlier. Um, yes, here it is. So it's sat here. It's loaded up with the sulphur again, so that's good. And it's, ah, so we've got we've got as much crushed naquium here. So, no, crushed naquitite here as, um, as as we can hold. So we're waiting for the other sh little ships to come back in, to come over and pick that up. So if we have another look at the star map, um, we've got a couple of those. Oh, then there and neck again is on its way out to a tulip in order with with, with a load of crushed naquitite. Presumably, if I look here, then we've got this one here still trying to unload. Yes. So this gets on to the next thing I was looking at, and I basically ended up doing more or less talking, doing more or less what I've just talked through now, and that's looking at all of the processes here to find out where the where the slope where the uh, the bottleneck is, and it does seem that the bottleneck is in this processing down here. <laughs> so, what I plan to do in order to get that working better is the main, the biggest, the worst bottleneck is in this is the um, is the vitalic acid coming through here. So what I want to do. Is come in and, and, and basically upgrade all of the productivity modules in these machines and these machines to something much much better. Maybe sevens or eights. I don't think I can do nines yet, but something something certainly something much much better, much much more powerful, in order to get the massive quantities of um, of everything of, um, of of naquium that I need without using quite so much of the vitalic acid. Another possibility would be to come down here and, and, and upgrade all of these machines. Is um, uh, productivity modules as well, make bring these ones up to sort of six or seven as well, and that way, then and then, then I could potentially run a second belt of the um, uh, of the vitalic acid up, and just make sure I've got absolutely loads of that available. So I think once I get, so I think I'm going to have to come out to Tulip with some better modules, and basically do some massive upgrades over here, especially in these things. Now these are already on tier six, but giving it an extra bump to tier seven, tier eight will get me quite a bit more naquium, and. Um, the, and also, if I've got um, more, another thing I can consider is then having more of these with, sp and maybe having speed module, more speed modules and beacons, so that everything gets used up a bit faster as well. Now that's still going to be a problem with the uh, the vitalic acid, so I don't know, I don't know how well that's going to balance. But I think generally, I just need to get more of this. I need to get more naquium flowing out on this side, and ideally get this getting used up a bit quicker on the input as well. So hopefully some module, making a load of modules will allow me to do that. And in order to do that, I think that's going to be a, a sort of a fairly big construction somewhere out here in space. And what I'm going to do is have a train fed system that's making modules. So at the moment I've got um, these sort of things. And yeah, these are these are okay. I'm, I'm, I'm making these for in order to make the, um, I think it was the, the, the um, uh, what do we call material fabricators? The, yes, these needed the uh, speed module and efficiency module six. So I built these up. But if I can feed in mod uh, the, um, the the modules, the blue circuits, the um, in fact I might just build them from scratch. So I it, feed in loads of green circuits, blue circuits, uh, red circuits, and then bring over some of these um, data cards and bring in the metals and things. Uh, the tricky part is going to be these catalogs, but I could also bring them in by train. That's that's certainly doable, and just have and then have everything being brought over to to a system that's going to be then making all of the all of these things for me. And actually looking at this, that's not going to be too hard. The only thing I'm going to need an additional pickup station for is the um, these things, the uh, machine learning data. 
everything else that goes into these is already on the train system. So yes, I think that's probably going to be a good thing to do. Um, it's going to be incredibly resource hungry, but I think at this point it's only going to be resource hungry and resources I have quite a lot of. So. I think this is going to be quite a reasonable way of, of getting things running a bit better, a bit faster, a bit more efficiently, and just generally giving everything a big boost. So I think next time is going to be we're going to be look at, taking a big look at modules. Hopefully, then that will mean a good supply of Naquium. Um, obviously, we don't have that at the moment. That's under 400, so we're got, not got any available there. But yeah, we just need we need to get things. We need to get more bigger supplies of Naquium in because it gets used in in enormous quantities for deep space science so I need I need to do something about that <clears throat> the other thing I had a bit of a look at in the in the last in the uh, last stream was I discovered there was an anomaly um, well now I don't I'm, I'm gonna say I discovered there was an anomaly there is an anomaly um, I don't know how to find it though uh, oh yeah you fight like this called Fenestra so I went out there um, and I found this um, this this giant ring thing. What what do we call it? We call it a movable component. Okay, um, interesting. So we, we have this 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 thing um, that looks like, that is a giant a giant stargate essentially, as far as I can tell. Um, and this this was lying in in little pieces scattered across uh, scattered around in an area here. So I put this put this back together again. And when I did, this thing at the bottom here appeared as if by magic. Um, and I think this is going to be a, well, it says I need to, I can make repairs, install motors, sensors, control interface and other add-ons. So I think as I get further into the, um, into investigating this, I'll find more things I can do. And the fact that these are called movable components suggests that they can be moved around. And I'm so strongly suspecting that you program these to, to mirror the, um, some of the, some of the patterns that I've seen in the, in the pyramids when I've been exploring them around the, um, around the um, around the solar system so when I when I looked in the uh, the pyramid on Myokin for example I, I saw this and as you can see there's some symbols there and I wonder how many other one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight okay so the the symbols don't match the, the symbols around the outside certainly don't match up with these with these um, components uh, however I suspect there's probably going to be some sort of link between them there is also supposed to be a spaceship park, a crashed spaceship parked here that you can harvest for resources. But I think in sort of earlier fiddling around and looking at things and messing around, I might have accidentally deleted it, which is a bit upsetting because that means I now can't play with it. I can't play with the, uh, can't harvest all the parts from that and use them to make my own spaceships. From what I gather, it's not the end of the world because there's nothing on there that I can't make. It would have just been a load of useful resources that would have been handy for making making all my production a little bit cheaper. But eh, c'est la vie. As part of this, in my exploration journal, I came out to the anomaly. It says huge ring-shaped artifact. It's been destroyed. Um, I rebuilt it. There's a, uh, a d derelict spaceship here. Um, sure. Now, I strongly suspect from looking at this and from the fact that when I arrived, it scanned me and recognised me and gave me the login code. Um, I suspect that what happened was when I arrived at the beginning of the game, my spaceship came through this 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 um, stargate, which is perhaps some some sort of wormhole or whatever and there was a there was an accident of some sort the ship smashed into it perhaps destroyed destroying it and destroying the ship as well um, because if we look through here these are the logs from the ship saying what happened so it was fl flying along merrily uh, using a gate um, t uh, t trying to fly to Fenestra problems no known hypergate no insurance blah 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 damage boom explode and then somewhere near the bottom yes here we go Emergency undock of prospecting shuttle, trajectory prediction, Kalidus Norvis. So what appears to have happened is that my character was used the uh, pros prospecting shuttle as an emergency escape pod and ended up heading towards Norvis crash and crashing there. And from and that's where the, where the game started. And um, I've been sort of trying to work out what's been going on for the last <laughs> nearly 20 days. Jeez, that's a long time. Um, so that is my current suspicions and we I guess we'll see as time goes by how that how, how accurate I am with that there's probably going to be some stuff in the research here that will tell me about the um, the anomaly but we'll 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 see I don't want to uh, like this uh, teleport that's teleportation um, uh, long-range star map. I don't know will we we shall see what happens see how it goes see what I find out what what I do what I learn and what I can do um, I think there's, there's obviously plenty of stuff in there to, to, to discover and find out in, in, in the future
So that was um, it was interesting and certainly worth a little bit of exploration. I also talked a bit about making a, um, a sh building up another ship that's used for sort of military stuff. So when I want to drop in on one of the uh, one of the planets that's got all kinds of has uh, got. So I want to go in and investigate more of these pyramid things, but a lot of them are on planets with not insignificant threat levels on them, especially the ones that are reasonably nearby. So I think it might be a good idea to make some sort of ship that will is essentially its own little fortress and can land and thoroughly defend itself from anything or any biters around it while I investigate a nearby um, pyramid. I can get the uh, I can investigate the pyramid, get back on the ship, and then fly off again. That's my hope and my intention. So it's going to be something I'll need to build up. Um, but I have some I have some ideas for that, so I think it's going to be quite an interesting one to build build up and, and, and do. But in the meantime, the main the big push at the moment is, as I said, for deep space deep space science too. I want to get this up and working nicely because it's something I've been pushing towards for a little while now. And although that said, a lot of my time has been spent trying to improve the uh, the Naquim mining and processing and and so on. So it could well be that getting this up and running at a decent effectiveness largely involves going out and improving the uh, Naquian processing. So, we shall see how that goes. Um, that gives me a few things to work on for uh, future episodes. I think we'll... Um, I'll, I'll stop talking at this point because that has covered basically all of the things I was doing. This was surprisingly time consuming and I, I didn't play for quite as long as I normally do. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you'll come along and join me on Wednesday for the next stream. It'll be at 7.30 UK time. And there is an hour change this weekend, so it'll be... Um, that makes it an hour earlier than normal, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. So it'll be, um, yeah, an hour, we're on to British summertime as of next week anyway, so it'll be an hour earlier than you're used to. Um, but you'll see the videos coming out a bit earlier as well. Well, this this video will probably have appeared to have come out a bit earlier as well. So there's that. Then on Monday, there is, of course, the Minecraft stream. That's um, and always worth coming along to. I did a load of um, white magic stuff in that last week, which you'll have seen if you watched yesterday's video. And uh, there's plenty more of that for me to get on with as well. These videos come out at the weekend, as you're well aware. And then on Thursdays, we've got the GTA videos. And I've got a few other things I want to make videos about. But, you know, I had a very busy week, so there aren't any of those made at the moment. But we'll see how it goes. Ooh, some um, Naquims arrived. Excellent. That means that ship must have finally left... Um, left Tulip, maybe? I've sort of lost track of where each one was. But we have at least got some Naquim coming in here now. So we can start making the plates. We can start making the, the science packs again. And probably start making the cubes, and that means the Naquium won't last very long at all. So it's all going to all going to evaporate quite quickly, as we'll uh, as we shall see. So yes, thank you for watching. Plenty more to come. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.